Are you ready to explain what's going on here? <laughs> you don't have to put your beer away. I don't know. <laughs> so, so are we going to... We're venting for 10 minutes. I don't know if you want to start. You're rolling, dude. Yeah, there's gonna be some fucking blue. There's gonna be some fucking blue. This is an adult channel. Welcome to the channel. Today, a little bit out of the norm, we are doing some tuna canning. And so I'm gonna try to put together a little bit of tutorial of uh, how we do it. You need to follow the what is it? The U.S. Agriculture USDA. USDA guidelines. This is not a how-to video. This is how we do it video. But um, I just thought I'd bring you along, let you check out the tuna canning. This is kind of a semi-annual event that I do with my buddy. I think the last time we were in his shop doing a video, we were doing the trailer bearings. So this is a, quite a switch up. And um, we're gonna show you start to finish of what we did for our tuna canning. So thanks for stopping by, enjoy it. Yeah, we're heating up these lids before we put them on, right? Yeah, they're not in there to get stale on. They're just getting in there to get warmed up. Doesn't get juicy well enough to rubber. And then it just kind of makes them more pliable when they get a better seal. So we just get warmed up. <laughs> There's always one. There we go. Cool, huh? So you are now filling jars. So the idea is you got to get all the air out of the jar so you usually cut these in about one inch slices or so and just pack them into the jar so that there's no air pockets and you leave yourself about a half inch of head space which is about to the ridge for the ring and then you can flavor them up to whatever you want to do we put in these half pints, we put a quarter inch or a quarter teaspoon of salt. The recipe I think called for a half teaspoon, but it's a little bit more salt than some people like, so we just cut it back a little bit. And then once you get them packed up to half inch of headspace, wipe the rim with some vinegar make sure all the chunks are off and all the oil is off lit them ring them set them aside till you're ready to throw them in the pan and cook so then he's telling me he's letting me shoot at the target so i'm not hitting the target very good I keep hitting the bottom of it and Question, what is this little square thing in here? What is that doing? <laughs> he goes, Mom, that's what we're supposed to light it up with. I said, Oh, I thought you were supposed to light it up at the end of the barrel.
We should video the canning. What's <laughs> my idea? I didn't say people don't want to see it. I said it's kind of out of my oh, expertise. wheelhouse. It's like, you know, how, how broad can your channel be? So I don't know if we should do an intro on jar prep. Yeah, we will. Oh. But since we already did one batch and you got stuff rolling here, okay. Okay. we can I can inter you know intermingle this stuff. Okay. You're gonna do all the editing. Yes. Okay. Editor, director, producer. Got it. Yeah, I don't even have my stick right now. I'm doing this by hand. So. Okay. So what we're doing right now is. Uh, we got all the jars in, we got the lids on, we turn the heat on, and as soon as the canner lock, which is this little button on the front of each canner, as soon as those pop up, and we're trying to do four canners at once, which is a lot, but as soon as the lock comes up and it starts venting, we want to vent for 10 minutes, and then when 10 minutes is up and it's vented for 10 minutes, We'll put the weight on the cap and we'll let the pressure build up to 11 pounds and that's where we'll turn the heat down and just try and keep it at 11 pounds for 100 minutes. So that's kind of the cook process. Cool. So Joe's on pot watch. It's a lot of pressure. It's a lot of pounds to be exact. Yes. Get close up. Still waiting on our lids for batch number two. Should be warm here shortly. All right, guys. So we are. Uh, on the final batch these are ready to go in the cooker and the cookers are warming up right now so we're going to be getting those in the pressure cooker here shortly and hopefully i'll get some video of us getting them out we'll see how that goes yeah you're, yeah are we rolling yep so after we do our 100 minutes at 11 pounds, we turn the heat off, and then as they cool down, then the locks will come undone, and we're able to take the lid off, so we unscrew the lid, and then tilt it away from us so it doesn't burn our face. Take the lid off, and we carry over to wherever we're gonna put our jars. jars out. We'll start setting them out to cool and you'll start hearing them pop. I'm pretty popular.
I can hear them popping. So I'm like tilting water off of them as I bring them out just to get the extra water off. It tends to be kind of oily water. And then later, if you want to write on the lids or label them, it makes it easier to not have oil on them. And we got labels right there. Okay, only 72 more jars to go. broken. A broken jar? Mm-hmm. You can see it's broken and got tuna coming out of the bottom of it. So we'll vacuum pack that, put it in the fridge, or can it up later, or eat it 